Steel Series Arctis 1. Coming in at a price tag of $79.36. And at any point during the video, you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. But that $79.36 is at the current time of filming when I purchased these. I think they're around 70 bucks. So do check below for current pricing. But let's start it off with the build quality. Build quality here is really good. They look very clean and understated, which I really like. They have an adjustable metal band and the earmuff swivel so they can lay flat around your neck, which I will say they're nice and wide when they sit flat. So you can very comfortably wear them just hanging them around your neck. They don't press against your neck. It's very comfortable, so that's great. The earmuffs are a nice soft fabric, which is nice to keep the temperature down during long gameplay sessions, especially when compared to your average faux leather earmuffs, where they are better for isolation, but they do get pretty hot and sweaty sometimes. This also has a detachable mic, and while it's not Flop City here, it doesn't stay perfectly where you place it, so you do have to fiddle with it a little bit, uh, but it still stays pretty good. Now, as for controls, on the right side, there is a power button, you can also play and pause music or switch tracks. And then on the left side, there is a mic mute switch, volume wheel, three and a half millimeter jack, and a micro USB for charging. No USB type C here, kind of a zonk, but not too big of a deal. Now, as for connectivity, obviously these are full wireless with either a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle, which is probably what you're gonna want, or you can use that three and a half millimeter audio jack. And to note that USB dongle is actually a USB type C dongle, which is cool because you can use it with things like the switch, uh, but there is a USB type A cable that then goes to USB type C. So that is kind of an adapter in case you don't have a type C on your PC. So that's good. Now for the battery, this claimed about 20 hours of usage and after testing, it's pretty much right in that range. So that's great. Pretty common that it's gonna hit close to the range if it doesn't have any RGB on the headset, which this one does not. Now sound quality, one of the most important sections. Sound quality out of the box is atrociously bad. Like it's, it's pretty bad. You need to download their EQ app which is like their Steel Series engine or whatever they like to call it. So once you change the EQs around and fiddle with all the settings, how is it? It's got good bass. Although when I did tune it to the level that I wanted, there was a little bit of some weird muddiness going on. However, not too big of a deal. The mids and trebles reacted very well to the EQ tuning though, and they're nice and crispy without being overboosted, obviously. Uh, just don't overboost them in the EQ. So after that, it's actually quite good, but Absolutely, if you're just getting these out of the box and then expecting to use them without doing the EQ, well, just don't get them. You must do the EQ. It's not a big deal. It only takes 30 seconds, but definitely a must for this headset. Okay, now as for comfort, it's good here. The earmuffs are soft, and there's also this soft fabric covering them. There's a faux leather top band that is comfortable. Now, the only thing that I don't find super comfortable is that they press a little bit too much against my head, like a little bit too much tension. Uh, now, again, as I started to kind of, you know, you open them up a little bit, you widen them, uh, and they sit a little bit better on your head. However, gaming for super long sessions, three hours plus, I would occasionally take them off and kind of just, you know, give my ears a break. But again, for me, they might've been pressing too hard because uh, I do have glasses on, so my ears do get affected a little bit differently there. However, if you have a smaller head, this is gonna be a non-issue, like not at all. But talking about mic quality, let's talk about it. The mic quality here is muffled, but it's good. And I mean that because there's not a whole lot of great mics on headsets in this price range. They're significantly better than your average budget headset that is wired, uh, but the budget wireless headsets, they're pretty good, but it definitely is muffled. But don't take my word for it. Take a listen to the SteelSeries Arctis Ones. This is the mic test for the SteelSeries Arctis One Wireless. Check, 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 one, two, three. And that is how they sound. This is compatible with PC, PlayStation, Mac, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox in the only wired mode. So you have to plug it in with that 3.5 millimeter jack. Again, if you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.